Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we need to uh, finally start to discuss capacitors and inductors in the context of circuits and figuring out how to simplify simple circuits that have multiple capacitors and multiple inductors in them. And so what we're talking about here is series and parallel reductions for capacitors and inductors. And if you remember, we talked about this at length with resistors a long time ago. Now we're just going to extend that discussion to uh, inductors and capacitors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say recall because uh, I'm going to end up drawing some analogies. So recall for resistors, right, for resistors, let me go ahead and switch gears here. Uh, if the resistors were in series, uh, then what we have is the equivalent resistance, it was just equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot dot dot, so that was just basically, um, you know, if they're, if they're in series, you add them up. And if they were in parallel, then what you have is 1 over R EQ, 1 over R equivalent is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus dot dot dot, however many resistors you have in parallel, that's how you handle it. So that's what we've done up until now. So the reason I'm writing this down and refreshing your memory is because I'm going to tell you so that you will remember that it is exactly the same for inductors. In other words, this whole thing that we just wrote down is exactly the same for inductors. So for instance, if I have a bunch of series reductors, inductors, something that might look like Here's inductor one, here's inductor 